An additive manufactured part helps make other additive manufactured parts. We get meta like that in this episode of The Cool Parts Show. I'm Pete. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to the Cool Parts Show. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the Cool Parts Show. I have a cool part made additively where you have to be in additive manufacturing to appreciate the coolness of the part. Pete, this looks like a build plate. It is a build plate, arguably the most boring component of the powder bed fusion metal additive process. But in powder bed fusion, what would you say is the biggest peril? Probably build failure and not knowing that your build has failed until the very end. Yeah, so this build plate watches for build failure. That's pretty cool. How does it do that? Uh, so this plate was made additively. A solid plate has a fiber optic sensor running all through it, capturing data in real time to monitor the build. This is additive manufacturing helping additive manufacturing. So this plate was 3D printed with the fiber optic inside. How do they do that? Yeah, so it was not made through powder bed fusion. It's helping powder bed fusion, but it was made through a different process, a solid state additive process. This plate was made through ultrasonic additive manufacturing. No melting involved, no super high temperatures. This sensor cable was never in any danger. We talked about ultrasonic additive manufacturing in the very first episode of the Cool Parts Show. Here's a quick recap from Fabrisonic, which is the company that made this plate. So ultrasonic additive manufacturing is a type of 3D printing uh, for metals. UAM is a little bit different in that we're taking thin foils of metal on the order of five to 10 thousandths of an inch, and we're welding those together using ultrasound. The secret sauce there is we're not actually melting anything. This is all happening at room temperature. So what we do is we fold over the foil onto the material we want to bond, and we roll over that with what we call an ultrasonic welder. As it rolls over, it's vibrating the sheet back and forth on the order of 20,000 times a second. That vibration actually scrubs off any impurities, any oils, and most importantly, scrubs off the oxide layer. As soon as you have virgin metal touching virgin metal, uh, Mother Nature takes over and you get a solid state bond. So, uh, ultrasonic additive manufacturing. Uh, this part, was, this plate was built in layers, layers of metal foil bonded together. The build was paused halfway through. This fiber optic thread was snaked all through it, all along the surface of the plate, and then the build resumed. Completely solid, one-piece metal part with the sensor inside. So you said this build plate can actually watch what's happening during the print. What is it watching for? Right. It is watching for stress, temperature, and strain. Um, this fiber optic sensor, uh, it is threaded all along the, the area of the plate in different directions as it goes. It can measure strain along the direction of its length. So having it oriented in all different directions all along the plate lets it pick up different coordinate directions of the strain measurement. So strain can be measured as a vector. Uh, it, at pixel points in a grid all along the surface of this plate, that strain vector is being tracked while the build is happening. What it's really watching for are changes in those vectors. A sudden change in vector direction, a sudden change in the direction of strain at any one of those points, that's a sign something broke. And so you can avoid those build failures by detecting the, the errors early. Yeah, and save yourself hours and hours of build time, potentially, just to make a scrap part. Once there's a build failure, you know it right away and you can start over. This sounds really promising. Is this the final version of this build plate? Well, no. Um, so here's more from Mark Norfolk of Fabrisonic. He has some ideas about where this could go next. Our initial try at a smart base plate, we kept all of our strain sensors in a single plane, which gives an amazing amount of data. Uh, we just recently were awarded a phase two program where we're going to take this to the next level. 
And for us, the next level is actually to put in several different planes of data collection. Um, by adding a second plane, one on top of the other, that's going to allow us to get data on moments or, or uh, torque going through the plates, which will give us a whole other dimension of data um, that, that's just not available um, at, at this point. All right, so to recap, this is a 3D printed build plate for powder bed fusion made with ultrasonic additive manufacturing. And that process allowed Fabrisonic to lay a fiber optic sensor all throughout, um, laid in different directions to track strain in different directions. It's also looking at stress and temperature, and as a result of that, you can detect defects in the part um, before it's too late. You can stop the build right away, save lots of time, money, material. There you have it. Thank you for watching the Cool Parts Show. Tell us about your cool part. Maybe we do an episode on your part. We'd love that. Cool Parts at additivemanufacturing.media. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.